A study from the University of Minnesota shows non-lethal police weapons can still cause some serious injuries. Now that study looked at tools used during the George Floyd protests. Our Mitty Hicks joins us live from Minneapolis with more on this study. Mitty? That's right. Well, healthcare professionals found that there were more head, neck, and eye injuries at local hospitals. They say rubber bullets and tear gas are the reason. They came into North Minneapolis and South Minneapolis. We saw kind of a massive um, increase uh, right away. Dr. Sam Kramer is a neurology resident at the University of Minnesota. He says the number of patients with head and facial trauma following George Floyd protests was not normal. We noticed that many were associated with these uh, crowd control devices that were being deployed at the time during the, the protest. Doctors and other healthcare professionals from across the county worked together and examined 89 patients. Most of those patients were injured by kinetic impact projectiles, which includes rubber bullets, foam bullets, um, could even include tear gas canisters in there. Researchers found these items can have severe damage. Uh, in terms of the injuries we identified in the study were folks that sustained horrible injuries to the eye that in, um, resulted in loss of vision in those eyes. Their conclusion, controlling crowds by using non-lethal weapons has to change. When you look at the guidelines for these weapons, they say that hits to the head, face, and neck are potentially unlawful. We need to be re-examining sort of um, with our law enforcement agencies what um, crowd control looks like and how to keep people um, safe. And in a statement to Fox 9, the Minneapolis Police Department say they haven't had a chance to look at the university study, but welcomes the opportunity. Live in Minneapolis, Mitty Hicks, Fox 9.